Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. This is Cohen and we are on our way to school today. So jump on in Miss Dora. Today is another day in the life of the Arctic Vet family. Cohen would like to tell you guys something. Um, even it almost my birthday. It is almost Cohen's birthday. That is very true. And Riley, did you want to tell them something too? Do you yes. have an axolotl? What? Do you have an axolotl? Oh, 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 oh. He wants to tell you on the next vlog. This book. All right, back to it, and today's weather report is, well, it's as nice as it's gonna be today. But it's raining. And it's 61 degrees, our high is 63 degrees today, and... It's raining, no it's not. It's not raining yet, however, take a peek out there. But there's rain on my window. It's, it's sprinkle, it's water from somebody's sprinkler. It's not rain water. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can definitely see that something is a uh, brewing And so like I said the high The high for today is 61. I mean 63. It is currently 61 and the low is 24 But like literally here in the next 30 minutes We're supposed to drop to about 48 degrees so Puppy. Hey, there. Hey, there's the deer. That dog. Yeah. Has made it a long ways. It has. Uh, and you guys seen the dead deer? Yeah. Was he here? I think that dog is lost, like lost, oh. lost, because I just seen him. Gosh, it would have been earlier this week. He was about way down there. Two miles that's, he was east. I don't know whose we dog it is. Dog I think that's oh man. I'll, I'll go back and see if they're still there. And we're gonna go see about this puppy dog. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I just thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for sticking around. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, to be quite honest with you guys, I have been struggling with, uh, I guess we could just call it mental, a mental health uh, thing. More, more or less, I've just been dealing with a lot of stress and a lot of drama, unnecessary drama that happens to occur when you, uh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I want to say right now. I don't, I don't really want to go into it. I, I do, but here's the thing. I, to be completely honest, I feel like I am being silenced and I don't like it. I don't like the fact that I feel like I can't talk about what's going on. And there's no, there's literally like no legal reason that I can't. There's no, nothing holding me back except for the fact of what, um, I never went to Corvette. Uh, I just lost my train of thought. This is what I mean. I all week I've been struggling with this. Like I just get brain fog, I guess you could call it. And it's it's due to being overwhelmed and stressed and worried. And here's the thing is I don't have anything to truly worry about because I know that God's got me and now I don't see this puppy dog. Oh wait, nope, the puppy dog is still in the field. He is still in the field. Hmm. Let's go see real quick. <laughs> that dog definitely uh, is near home because as soon as I pull up next to him, he took off. <laughs> he took off. So um, anyhow, I'm, I'm glad to know like he ran to his house. So. He is, does belong, where the boys said, which is pretty cool. Anyways, back to what I was saying, and it's kind of a perfect time for it because it's a rainy day. 
now I I feel like I'm being silenced like I'm not supposed to talk about this like and the, the fear really is not anybody like blackmailing me or anything like that but whatever I say is almost guaranteed to be twisted even though it's on video of exactly what I say it'll be twisted and used against me later on in the future which I think is absolutely stupid but that is just how narcissists work that's what they do and this to me is continuation of abuse that I have put up for put up with many many years and have tried to get away from however there's a certain reason that I still cannot just completely avoid it because if it was up to me the abuser that is causing this and causing me to feel like I have to stay silent and here I am somewhat talking about the issue is it would would be cut off from my life they wouldn't they wouldn't have any contact with me whatsoever they would be completely blocked like completely they wouldn't have my number know where I live nothing and had they contacted me they would be completely ignored and then their new number whatever their new method and I know that it happens because it has already happened many times. They create fake accounts and try to talk to me through them. And those accounts get blocked and deleted and recorded. And I just... Uh, why do people have to be like this? Why, why is it that people are so... So hurt that they feel they gotta go take it out on somebody else? Why can't they just face their own problems and take them head on? Well, here's the reason. The reason is that I can take my problems head on because I've got God and I give these problems to Him. I truly believe in God and I know that He's going to take care of us. All of us. Every single one of us. All we have to do is submit to Him. I say, Lord, please show me the way this is my problem you know every thought in my mind and my heart and in my soul you know everything you know my future my past my present guide me jesus god that's that's who we surrender to we surrender to him and by doing so these problems he he shows us the way he takes that he says, thank you for coming to me. Now here's what we got to do. Because the best, the best thing is, is that God created us in his own image, in their own image, which is God, the Holy Spirit, and um, Jesus in their image. They're, the, they're the, the, the three, right? So they created us in our own image that that's mind-blowing it's mind-blowing what that means is that he knows our future he knows like if we're gonna have kids if our kids are gonna have kids if our kids as kids are gonna have kids like he knows the entire generation he knows when it started like he knows that all the way all the way till the very end when we're all in heaven or elsewhere and we come back to earth you know he knows all of that like he knows everything he knows that shoot he, he knows this video is coming and you know what the Holy Spirit gives me words to say and I know that the Holy Spirit does because as soon as I start talking about things I start getting the chills and you guys might you probably can't see it but I like my entire body just gets the chills and I'm, I feel like this. I feel like God's like, hey, it's okay. I'm right here with you. You can say these things. You can go through this. You, if you do this, you're going to help somebody. You're going to save somebody's life. You're going <clears> to... <throat> there's there's some somebody out there that is struggling 
far worse and maybe even in the same sort of situation as I am and this might this video might just help bring them the strength of okay I need to I need to pray I need to give this to God and their life's gonna change and it's gonna change for the better because for me it it literally took a moment of God saying yoink Trevor we're up here and we're thrown back 20 years now we'll watch over this event that you lived through as a kid watch over this event with me and I'm here to tell you guys that I literally seen things that as a kid I did not see I didn't see how could I see my mom driving from blocks away driving to where I was as a kid God God that's how that's how he took me somewhere else and I seen the scene and I seen my mom racing to get to me and I seen everything else that was occurring that I didn't as a kid see and that moment that moment is when I was like I trust you God and I put my phone down I didn't call 911 and I went to sleep with my kids and then I woke up and I knew that there was something else I had to do besides go to work that day and that's what I did and that began that moment I truly believe that that moment was the exact moment when I said okay God let's I, I'm, I'm done doing this my way let's do this your way because your way is the only way Jesus is the only way he's the only way to heaven and that's our end goal like that's 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 what I want to do I want to get to heaven and I want to be sure that my family my kids my friends all the Arctic vet family that you guys also join me in heaven that's and to do so we got to be like Jesus and so it's man it's it's tough it's really tough because I feel like I'm silenced and I can't talk about the issues that are causing me to be so overwhelmed and so stressed that I just some days I'm just like oh, my mind is not there it's not working it's not running I'm like oh man I just need a nap and it sucks it really it sucks but I have the 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 privilege to talk to God about it talk to Jesus and the Holy Spirit and I do have some family that I can talk to about this thing about these things and I do but God's where it helps the most and the next step for me is I've already done those those two my next thing is to is to really bring the issues to all of you because I do believe that telling this story could help one of you it could save one of your lives it could it could be enough to maybe change somebody's life that maybe they act this way towards others maybe it changes their life I, and I just I don't I, I just don't have the strength right now to say what's going on because <clears throat> I'm also not trying to paint a picture of a person even though that person paints this own picture off for themselves and continues to repaint it and repaint it and repaint it and it's the same thing over and over and over again and you heard me use the word narcissist and if you don't know what narcissists are this is what I deal with and it it explains what like if you google it it explains it essentially if you say hey I love you that person's gonna be like they said they hate me ah, that was really loud I'm a there we go that was super loud it scared me so anyhow that's <sighs> that was a lot. 
that's that's why I've been missing so much lately. Honestly, I I haven't I haven't felt good enough to vlog. And it sucks. I don't like that. I feel like I'm being held back. And that's when I got to fight back the most because that's the devil trying to pull me down and say, no, no, you're not going through that wall. Well, guess what, buddy? Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are right here. They're right here right now, and we're breaking through that wall. You can't hold me back anymore. We're going. We're doing this thing. We, we're going to make it. You, you watching this video, you're going to make it. Whatever struggle, whatever stress, whatever thing that's going on in your life right now that's got you holding back and holding down, you're going to break through it. We all are. And it's going to be amazing. And then the next one's going to come. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to break through that wall, break through that door. Because guess what? There is light at the end of this tunnel. It's just being blocked by the demons that are holding you back. We can fight through them. We can walk right through them and say, ha, not today. Not today, Satan. Today is not the day. It's God's day. And God's will be done. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm here for. Like Oh man, it feels amazing. It feels amazing to be behind the camera again. My entire body, I got chills. Like, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. And I, I did, while I've been gone for these past few days, I do have an idea for a video. However, it's been on the channel before, but this time it's a little bit different. Like, hmm. It involves one of my greatest passions and my a hobby <laughs> and uh, well I'll just say thanks dad <laughs> and if you know you know <laughs> if you don't know you'll find out very soon anyways uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here go inside finish getting ready for work which don't worry I still got plenty of time I still got plenty of time to get in there for work. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all are amazing. Have a wonderful day. Click that red subscribe button. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And if you guys have anything that you'd like to talk about, DM me on Instagram, Facebook, um, whatever, whatever you got. If you got my phone number, go ahead and message me and i will gladly talk to you help try and help you through some things I'm, I'm here for each and every one of you you guys mean mean a lot to me so yes I, I will help you i will do my best to help you whatever that means if it's just a conversation if it's if it's just a little pick me up you know sometimes we just need to pick me up go ahead drop a comment down below let me know what you think i will catch you guys tomorrow with this cool idea that i have that I, I, I can't, I, I just can't wait. And I don't have one to show you right now. Darn it. <laughs> have a great night and God bless. <laughs> don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fix in you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.